Rashford's set price for Arsenal, Chelsea and Man United to sign Ivan Tony after rejecting bid. Brentford will demand between 50 million and 60 million to sell Ivan Tony after leaving him out of their Premier League opener due to transfer interest. The 28-year-old England striker has been linked with several Premier League clubs this summer, including Manchester United and London rivals Arsenal and Chelsea. Saudi Arabian side Al Ali have shown the most interest in Tony so far and saw their opening 35 million bid rejected by Brentford, according to BBC Sport. The Bees valued Tony at around 70 million at the start of the summer, but are prepared to drop that price due to a lack of significant interest and the player's desire to leave. If they fail to sell Tony before the summer transfer window shuts at the end of the month, Brentford run the risk of losing him for free in 12 months' time. There appears to be a willingness from all sides to get a deal done but Brentford are determined to get a fair price and want at least 50 million for a striker who scored 20 goals in his last full Premier League season, according to the Times. Asked if it was only a matter of time before Tony leaves Brentford, manager Thomas Frank said on Sunday yes, I guess that is fair. I think Ivan is a top player. He has been a top player and one of our best players if not the best player over a long spell. All the top players in the Premier League. One day they will leave the club, and someone will have to step up and do well. Tony's rise at Brentford was interrupted by an eight-month ban for betting offences, but the forward was still taken to Euro 2024 by England boss Gareth Southgate. He barely featured for the three Lions, playing back up to England captain Harry Kane, but made a crucial assist in the knockout stages before scoring in the penalty shootout against Switzerland. Reacting to Tony's omission from Brentford's Premier League win over Crystal Palace, and the speculation linking him with a move to Saudi, ex-England defender Gary Neville told Sky Sports, I would love to see him stay in the Premier League, but we're hearing that maybe he is going to Saudi Arabia, which would be a shame. Obviously, in the Premier League, we have enjoyed watching him in the last few years, but he probably feels that he needs to exploit this contract more than any other before. He has obviously not had the career that a lot of players have had of his age, playing for England, earning big money. He feels like he has got to go and earn the money that he possibly can. So he may do that. I would love to see him stay in the Premier League. He could be a great asset for another club. Gary Lineker urges Arsenal to sign Premier League star after opening weekend. Gary Lineker has advised Arsenal to sign one away Brentford striker Ivan Tony to boost their Premier League title hopes. Mikel Arteta's side, runners-up for the past two seasons, made an impressive start to the new season beating Wolves 2-0 thanks to goals from Kai Havertz and Buke Osaka. Speaking after the opening win, Arteta suggested Arsenal would not be signing a new striker before the transfer window shuts despite being linked with several attackers. The rest is football podcast colleagues Lanker, Micah Richards, and Alan Shearer believe this would be a mistake, however, and have urged Arsenal to sign Tony. Tony, who featured for England at Euro 2024, was left out of Brentford's Premier League opener against Crystal Palace on Sunday as he is in talks to leave the club. Sides in Saudi Arabia are ready to offer Tony a lucrative deal but Lanker, Richards, and Shearer believe Arsenal should make a move to aid Arteta's title tilt. You know who I would go and buy? Ivan Tony, Richards said. He was left out obviously and there's talk about him going to Saudi he might not be ideal for Arsenal's style, how they want to press and play, but he's a different option from off the bench. He would give them something different, a different dimension. Especially looking at the numbers, he's got a year left on his contract and there was talk about him going for only 15 million. For a player who was valued at 70 million a couple of seasons ago. In terms of what he can offer, I think he would be a good fit. Responding to Richard's suggestion, Match of the Day host Lanker said, I like Ivan Tony a lot, I think he's super talented and gives you a completely different from what else they've got. He's a real threat and technically a really good footballer so I think he would fit in at Arsenal. Once you're at the stage where a player is left out, the writing does appear to be on the wall. Premier League legend Shearer also believes Arsenal should sign a new striker but suspects Arteta may stick with his current options. He does, though, expect Tony to be on the move before the summer transfer window shuts at the end of the month. If it was up to me, I would look to bring one in, Shearer said. Listening to Mikel, it doesn't sound like they're going to bring one in. They might bring in Mikel Marino from Sociedad. He's looking for a striker to improve on the numbers of Havertz, Trossard, Saka, and what the team did last year. Can they do find that player? I don't see why not. I think from Brentford's point of view, 
they probably have to sell Ivan Tony. They can't afford to wait another six months and let him leave for free. I would be amazed if he went for 15 million. I would imagine it would be more like 40 million. The only downside is his replacement has got a bad injury and will be out for a while. So do they have time to bring someone else in? But it does sound like he's going to leave in the next couple of weeks. Arsenal are reportedly closing in on agreeing a deal for Mikel Marino from Real Sociedad and are expected to announce his signing in the next 24 hours. The Gunners' only significant addition to their first team this summer has been Italy international Riccardo Calafiori, who joined from Bologna. Their other notable moves include converting David Reyes' loan into a permanent transfer from Brentford and securing a few deals to strengthen their academy. Marino's omission from La Real's matchday squad for their 2-1 loss to Real Vallecano on Sunday has only intensified speculation about a potential move to the Emirates Stadium. During his pre-match press conference before the clash, Imanol Alguacil confirmed that Marino was fit and available, but mentioned that open negotiations with Arsenal were underway, and it seems that the Gunners are now on the verge of securing their man. Arsenal's sporting director Edu is said to have been in Spain over the last few days working with Real Sociedad's hierarchy over a deal for the Spanish international. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, discussions between the clubs have progressed well and the Gunners are now a day or so away from announcing the confirmation of the 28-year-old midfielder signing. Romano said get ready, guys, because these could be important hours. My feeling, talking to my sources, is that could be something like 24 to 48 hours, but we are really at the final meters, at the final details of the Mikel Marino deal. The here we go to Arsenal is really, really close. We can say almost there. They are working on the final steps, and then Mikel Marino will be a new Arsenal player. As I told you, there is already an agreement on the final fee, they're working, it's already two, three weeks on the payment terms, the deal, structure, the add ons. So, the details of the deal, but they're getting closer on everything, even on the details. Give Me Sport Clay Marino has long been enthusiastic about a move to the Emirates and is totally convinced of his role in Arsenal's pursuit of the Premier League title this season. The report adds there is optimism that Arsenal will finalize a 25 million deal for Marino's transfer in the coming days. I've Me Sport also report that despite being left out of La Real's opening match of the season, Marino has been working hard to maintain his fitness levels over the past week. It is understood that Gunners boss Mikel Arteta has made specific requests for the training drills he should complete at the Emirates to increase his chances of making an immediate impact if he moves to North London in the coming days. Sociedad were reportedly looking for around 35 million to part ways with the Spanish international, but have lowered their asking price to avoid the risk of losing the 28-year-old for free at the end of the season when his current contract ends. Marino made 45 appearances for the La Liga outfit last season scoring eight goals and providing five assists, and is considered the long-term partner for Declan Rice in the Gunners' midfield. Arsenal have changed their plans and opted against signing a new striker in the current transfer window, according to a report. Heading into the summer, the Gunners were expected to strengthen their attacking options, either by signing a new starting center forward or adding depth to their wing positions. They were linked with moves for Brentford attacker Ivan Tony and Sporting Lisbon's Victor Gilkeris, but were unwilling to meet either player's asking price. So far, the club have only strengthened their defensive areas, making David Reyes move from the, the GTEC Community Stadium permanent after his season-long loan and signing Ricardo Calafiri from Bologna. Mikel Arteta's side got their new league campaign off to a winning start, beating Wolverhampton Wanderers 2-0 at the Emirates Stadium on Saturday. The Gunners' first goal of the 2024-25 Premier League season was scored by Kai Havertz, who was deployed in the number 9 role for the club against Wolves. Gabriel Jesus was sent on for the final five minutes of the match for Declan Rice, while Eddie Nkidia was an unused substitute in the victory. Nkidia is said to be looking for a move away from the Emirates before the transfer deadline and has been on the radar of Roberto de Zerbis Marseille. As per Football Insider, even if Nkidia departs North London in the next two weeks, Arsenal are not planning to design another number nine this summer. The report adds that Arteta believes he has sufficient cover and quality in attack for the season to challenge and potentially win the Premier League after two second-placed finishes. It is understood that Havertz's evolution since the start of the year has bolstered Arteta's confidence in his attacking options, with Jesus and Leandro Trossard also capable of playing centrally and leading the line if needed.
While Arsenal have now reportedly opted to abandon their pursuit of a new striker, they are believed to be closing in on signing a central midfielder before the transfer window closes. Widespread reports have claimed that Edu is currently in Spain working on a deal for Mikel Marino from Real Sociedad for a fee of around $28 million. Fabrizio Romano added to the speculation by revealing that the clubs are on the verge of agreeing a deal for the midfielder, with the Gunners expected to announce his signing in the next 24 to 48 hours. Marino was a standout performer for La Real last season, featuring in 32 La Liga matches, scoring five goals and providing three assists in that time. The 28-year-old also played a crucial role in Luis de la Fuente's Spain squad at Euro 2024 and scored the winner to knock host nation Germany out of the competition in the quarterfinal.